In this tutorial we're going to take a bit of a deeper look at what you can do with the EJS templating system, especially when applied to the routes that you're creating within an Express.js app, and we'll look at how to deal with different types of data along with control flow such as if statements and for loops. So I've just created a simple route within our Express.js application and the route is just identified as forward slash EJS and we're just going to register a template called EJS-example and there are three bits of data that we're going to pass into the template which is a string that's got some HTML tags inside it, a boolean value called show title, and also just an array of strings. So the first thing we're going to do is actually render our title as HTML so let's go ahead and create our view And in our previous tutorials we were able to access the data that's passed into a view by opening a EJS tag and simply writing the name of the property that we want to display on the page. So if we go ahead and run our application and see what happens, when we browse to the EJS root, we do indeed get the data rendered onto the template However, we've got the literal text that has the HTML tags in it, or to put it another way, they've been escaped. And that's probably the way you'd want to actually handle strings within your templates, and it's the safest so that you don't get any code injected from anywhere else maliciously in your application. But there might be times when you actually want to render a string as HTML. So in order to do that, let's go back to our EJS template. And all we need to do is change the equal sign in the opening tag to a minus. And if we save that and return to the browser, you can see when we refresh the page, the data passed into the template is actually rendered as HTML and we get a nice heading level 1 tag. So now that we've sorted that, let's move on to looking at control flow within our templates. And we set up in our root a property of show title which has a boolean value of false that is also passed into our template. So we could use that to show and hide the title based on the value that's passed in. So the way we would write an if statement in an EJS template looks a little bit like this. So you can see we've got the basic structure of an if statement there, as it normally would be in JavaScript, but it's just wrapped in those opening and closing EJS tags. So we could maybe make this a little bit more easier to read by indenting the value that's output inside the middle of that if statement. But if show title is passed in as a truthy value, the string within inside of the title property will actually be rendered. Of course we can extend this by actually putting an else statement in as well. So if we go back to our app in the browser, when we refresh the page, you can see the h1 tag that we wrote inside of the else statement is actually rendered to the page rather than the value that's stored inside of the title variable. So that's just one example of how you can make your templates render a little bit more dynamically depending on what data is passed into them. Another really useful feature would be able to loop through values to create lists based on data that's passed in. So going back to the root that we created initially, you can see we've got some strings listed in the data property, so let's loop through those and create a list. So in these last three lines I've set up a for loop as you normally would do in JavaScript, but in the centre of it instead of doing a console.log or a document.write we can literally just put in the HTML tags and use the EJS templating engine just to render the values that are stored within the array. So let's go back to the browser to check that out one final time. And when we refresh the page, you can see each item in the data array is actually presented to us on the page. And my markup in the template there was a little bit shoddy, I should have had an opening and closing HTML tag for unordered or ordered lists, but this just gives you an idea of how you would go about looping through an array and displaying the data on the page. So using if statements and loops would be really useful when you're getting data from a database for example, when a user's typed in some kind of query, and we can use the EJS templating engine to update a page dynamically based on the data that's returned. So I said previously in a few lessons ago that EJS is a templating engine that I prefer based on its simplicity, but there are a few other templating options available to you with Express, and we'll take a look at those quickly in the next lesson.